announce your service delivery. A survey your challenges, if anything, and explore ways of mitigating them. You have the assurance of this committee to support you in every way possible, including through the legislative instruments. The NDC being a window of opportunity for the transformation of the Niger Delta region can serve as an agent to catalyze regional integration and social economic advancement of these people. One of the ways to achieve this is the need for policy direction that will drive human capital development in the region, especially in this post-COVID era and for unemployment. Build the capacity of our youth. The immediate benefit will be the reduction of youth restrictiveness in the region. We must ask for greater efficiency. The committee is calling on both the manager and staff of NDC to kindly reverse this ugly but avoidable trend. Besides, we want to discourage your new emphasis of being placed on the award of emergency contracts with invariably which invariably overlooks statutory processes at the expense of strategic, viable, high impact projects which can catalyze further development of other economic sectors of the region. We are hopeful that our point forensic colleagues, which have been in the public domain, will yield the desired results, particularly in the areas of non-performing contracts and giving impetus to, to the NDC to put in place mechanisms towards mitigating a ballot project syndrome currently affecting the region. This is very key. Honorable members, ladies and gentlemen, permit me to place on record that the review and implementation of the Niger Delta Regional Development Master Plan is long overdue. And hence, efforts should be geared towards ensuring that the states of the Niger Delta, oil companies, private sector, multilateral and bilateral organizations, civil society, traditional rulers, and other stakeholders jointly review and update the master plan and commit to its effective implementation. To this end, the Commission should facilitate the process and allow other stakeholders to take leadership in determining the content objectives of the master plan. This will engender ownership by the people and institutions of the region and also ensure that the plan when revised is acceptable and widely implemented by states, local government, oil companies, private sector, civil society organizations and other development <coughs> actors working in the region. Mm -hmm. In has <coughs> has spoken my mind because when I came I went to the Emergency in Nigeria, we do have national emergency agenda. Name my structure. I'm very stuck. At no point in time, the emergency of Nigeria, of the Niger Delta, overwhelmed the national emergency. Such that we are losing focus from doing the main thing with the emergency. As we are not doing this way again. Now, the success. And that is what led for the first time. When we suggested, we wrote a letter, another compassionate letter again, that we want to intervene, we want to contribute our, our part of our resources for the development of the East West region, so that the number of persons from the South South, from the South East, from all Nigeria that take the East West road is a very important road that links up the South, the South East, the South West, and the North. Most Nigerians, you know, we cannot operate as, as, as single entities. If we depend on our northern brothers for our, for our protein production from the north, our northern brothers also depend on us for, for the protein production from the sea and so on. And so they are linked. Over time, you are Mr. Chairman, the persons have lost their lives through these bad East West Road. And so they, I want to add to them, he said, This is beautiful. They are certain and made a provision for the first time. A major departure of the Davis School has made a provision of 35 million for the business school. The whole master plan, I have presented this um, three years ago. The Consular General of the United States of America 
visited us in, in, in this very office. And um, they have agreed to collaborate with us in addition to other key stakeholders. So we will come up with a master development plan, a regional master plan, because the, the existing one, the text that they exist, the one that is existed has since expired. So it was supposed to have a lifespan of 15 years. And 15 years has since expired. <coughs> So right now, luckily you people are critical stakeholders. You represent the people. Sitting here, we are talking. We are talking to the people directly because you hold the people's mandate. Therefore, in the aspect of the master plan and um, preparation, you, you are going to be very key and you will be very very fundamental for the development of the regional master plan because you, you directly represent the boss of the people that we met. So I didn't mean that. So when I came in, I had issues because of this conflict of people not knowing. I discovered that we left an act. We created an act. An act created a lagoon. It was, it, it, there was no direction. For instance, we had no function of uh, executive director project. The functions of the managing director is listed. And so you had persons who come here to sit down because they are MDs, so you, anything you say, they tell you I am in charge. Anything they say, they tell you I am in charge. And that created friction, and it is a fundamental flaw. There was no entry requirement for a, a director, for instance, project director. We didn't have a requirement. If somebody that was coming to superintend over the engineering of billions of enterprise, where the people's welfare are taken, we didn't say that this man should be uh, at least 29 years of age. We shouldn't say that you should have a BSc in engineering or architecture or any relevant idea. We didn't say the state the number of years of post qualification experience. So you find out a situation where somebody failed the um, failed election as a council and want to be compensated. I will tell you, sir, I am a lawyer. He sees loyalty as a requirement, a qualification to make him six years as a technical director project. He does not know anything about bill of engineering measurement or bill of quantity. The detail for the office of the uh, executive director of finance and administration. Then you will solve a situation for anybody that works with the car. Then it's a finance matter. Anybody that uh, uh, was in the local government region will tell you it's a uh, because there were no requirements. So these are the things you need to sit down and respect your members.